So she taps her manager, and her manager leans into the window. She goes, 519 rounds up to 520. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what is up and what is good with y'all? Somebody commented on the Popeyes video, hey, I miss your Chinese videos. And coincidentally enough, so do I. I've been looking to try this place called Lucky's. Uh, I've been driving by it constantly. I'm like, I need to try it, need to try it, need to try it. Today's the day you are in Lucky's restaurant. Whoever you commented, you're in Lucky's today. And... Uh, It just, I, I know you guys are going to call me a wild child here, and it is what it is, but uh, I know. I know what you guys are thinking. Order opened at 3, 3, 3, and 59 seconds. So one second before 3.34 <laughs> was my order placed at 3.33. 3, 3. So Lucky's threes, okay? Anyways, can't make it up. Can't make it up. Um, I got a lot to, uh, chat about today, a lot of things going on, but, uh, I got a standard, uh, combo plate, chicken balls, uh, nice tub of sweet and sour sauce here, beef and mixed greens, fried rice. I did ask for the Cantonese style rolls, but, uh, she gave me spring rolls or egg rolls. They look good. I don't know. Their website showed that they had the, the bubbly spring rolls, but maybe I just said the wrong thing. So I think it's on me. Anyways, a couple fortunes and do what we came to do. We're li light a SIG, alternate style SIG, but a SIG nonetheless. So shout out to whoever that was that said that uh, you needed to see a Chinese video. I needed to have one. So you uh, inspired this. Let's go. Not as bomb.com as a uh, lit, the uh, regular lit eggs, but a good change up. There's um, a curry element to the filling. Yellow curry. I could say that for certain. Samosa vibes. if you will. Hmm. Good. Wish it was the other ones though. Let's have to go back to try again. So far so good. The, uh, the girl working the till, clearly the family business. She's younger, maybe 18, 17. She was on point. She brought it out to my truck, brought it to my, to my vehicle when it was ready. So it was ready fast. They packaged it up properly. Really nice. And the flavors so far are legit. Okay. How you really judge a place though is what's their chicken ball like? What's that chicken quality like? About to find out. But we got to dip more. White meat, good quality. The dough is definitely cooked, nice and crispy. I like it, and it's I like how around the piece of chicken. It's equal and pretty thin. It's not all dough, like not just too doughy. So we go again. Mm -hmm. This place will legit. 
I'll definitely be going back to try to try to uh, try their other rolls. Spring rolls this time. All right, a couple things. First things first. First things first. Your guy cried at the pool today. <laughs> Good cry though. Happy tears. I was in the deep end and there's these kids in dive club. They have the two instructors, the two girls. And then these kids, group of kids, and uh, they're like, I've had to bet like eight years old max, seven to eight years old, I would say. And um, just like me in my youth, we used to go to the uh, to this place, the complex. It's called Canada Games Complex. It has professional level uh, dive tiers, like flat dive tiers, diving boards, da da da. Then it has lanes. Then it has like a kids pool. Then it has like a, a just a general use like fun time pool with like basketball hoops and stuff. And then there's all the places you can work out and all that stuff. It's a, you know, squash courts. It's a facility for getting active. But, uh, these kids started on the diving boards, but then they went to the, uh, to the tiers, to the dive platforms, platform. That's the word I'm looking for. And there's three different ones. There's first, second, and third. And um, third is high. It's like as tall as the, the building, like the height of almost the roof. It's a big jump. So anyways, these, these kids are, they go to the first one and there's this one kid who's, I think he was, uh, he either was like mixed native with white or something, or maybe Filipino or something. I couldn't really tell. Anyways, him and his, his buddy, which is a, this, this black kid, they were the two alpha, like they, they had the cojones to, to do the, uh, the risky biz. So they just shot off the first one. No problem. And all the kids after they came to the edge and like looked and got scared and they all backed out on the first one, but these two just ripped it. Then second, then they go to second tower. The divers let them go to second tower or the instructors, I should say. Now, when I was coming up in the game, going there with my friends, second tower, when we were in our early teens or mid teens was like pretty serious business. Second tower is big. This kid, first dude just ripped it. No problems. So fast. His buddy keeping up with him, the little, the little, the little black kid, he, he was like a little, a little hesitant, but he's like, I got to keep up with my boy. And that reminded me of when we were kids, like how you'd outdo each other and see who's really got it. Like who's the best. So he did the second one just once to prove. And then I was actually shocked, but the, uh, their coaches or whatever opened the third tower for them just to, I think they thought, well, they're just going to look at it and not really, they're not going to do it. So the main dude, he's up there like, oh, you can see that he wants to do it. And from what I could tell from his jumping, he had the skills to pay the bills. I was just like, and I was swimming down below. I'm like, you got this, man. You can do it. Just stay straight. And his instructors were like, you could definitely do it. You got it. And then the kids who were scared of even the first one were like, you got it, man. You could totally do it. 
and then he did it. First one was a little rough. He leaned a little too far back. Got a little spanking on the back from the water, but he did it perfect that second time. But what made me tear up was, is the kids all like cheering for him to, to be the champion of like, not jealous or anything, not like trying to, to bring him down to like, just be like, it's too high, it's too scary, don't do it. They were like, champion him, championing him. And it was just like a, to me, it was like that, just a tender moment of lifting somebody up who you see is brave and has the courage and they're just that little bit away from that greatness. And then through his peers, they just were like, yeah, like get after it. You could totally do that. Luckily, I was in the pool. So there was water on my face. You couldn't tell that I was tearing up. <laughs> but yeah. Actually mind blown though, because this kid, what, seven years old, eight years old? I didn't jump off third tower till I was in my, till I was like 17, 18. I was high. These beef and greens are killing it too, just by the way. As good as any place ever. So this place is getting a great, uh, Great review so far. Fried rice is also fantastic. So that's phase one of my story for the day. My other little story is this. I wanted a little dessert. I have it in the freezer right now, but uh, Tim Horton sells these things called the uh, creamy chocolate chills. I actually had one in the Tim Hortons video that I did a, a while back. They're a nice uh, chocolate drink treat. And uh, I'm gonna have it for dessert after this by my lonely. Some things we still do off camera, you know? I don't know what all this is, but I know it's gonna be a slurpy good bite. Um, anyways, I go through Tim Horton's drive through Oh, that oyster sauce. And the drink comes to 5.19. I had a $5 bill and 15 cents on me. I had card too, for sure. But when I got to the window, I thought if I handed them five fifteen, it was just like, hey, like I just I'm short four cents. You'd maybe just give a guy a pass. <laughs> but the girl at the window was like befuddled by the fact that I would hand her that and say like, uh, I'm just I'm short like four cents. So she taps her manager and her manager leans into the window. She goes, 519 rounds up to 520. Now I just came from a family establishment where like the girl was awesome and I tipped her nice and she actually gave me extra sauce for free, right? From a family run establishment, probably not killing it, probably not making Tim Horton's margins. And then we go to this corporate thing and they can't spare you. Like the employees are scared to spare you four cents. Like I know the price is the price. I get it. But every time stuff like that happens, I just think of the person working the job. It's like, you understand that the owner of this company is like a, probably a mall, at least closer to a billionaire than not. Right. Uh, 
on top of that, they're exploiting you for the cheapest labor they can possibly get. And running you through the ringer all day, every day. With no real huge benefits and all this stuff, right? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> But hey, she's she was loyal to to, to, to the game. She's loyal, loyal to the company, so maybe she's trying to go to the top. Shout out her integrity, but at the same time, it's like you couldn't just slide four cents of somebody trying to get rid of some change, like cash, just trying to use up cash. Technically, I'm wrong. I get it. I paid with my card. I paid in full. That 519. <clears throat> Just interesting. If I was on the register, you know that I'd be sliding. I'd just be like, yeah, I'd put into the till that I got 520 and close out the bill. Because somewhere along the way in the day, you're going to find five cents on the floor cleaning cleaning up like you know anyway just know if it was me i'd have been cool man okay Third thing to get to. The fact of the matter is, your boy's doing it. He's going to therapy. Pulled the trigger on contacting a lady today. He goes here uh, Wednesday. And yeah, we're just going to hit up a little introductory hour and a half. Of psychotherapy just to talk about it all where it's all stemming from what I'd like to see happen for myself mechanisms to uh, employ when I'm tempted to swig the bottle things of this nature getting to the root of some core issues see if there's any true clinical diagnoses and perhaps maybe try a couple chemicals just to see if it makes anything better do I want to be on chemicals not really but If I try them and I'm significantly better in what it is that I'm dealing with, then we, then we give them an honest shot, you know? If I'm being truthful, in my best estimation, Just having someone uh, that's private and, you know, it has to remain confidential between us. Just having a uh, trained individual, educated individual, who's dealt with obviously tons of cases in her life, uh, as an ear to unload it all I think will just be medicine in itself because I feel like you know in life we just don't really have that we have so many things we could say to people but we don't say all of it for fear of like what is their reaction going to be like you just can't reveal everything about yourself to every to anybody and everybody 
because there's risk associated with that, like real risk, like somebody get you hauled off <laughs> to a straight jacket facility type shit. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> So I think just speaking to someone about things totally and completely will be relief in itself, in itself. Talk therapy. I'm hitting capacity right now. I thought I was going to get through it all. I really did. But I've hit capacity. So, a little rice, one ball, and a spoonful of greens for later. However, we have to decide our fate. Which one do I go with? I don't know. I'm gonna pick the right hand path, the narrow path. We'll see what it says. Preordained messages from the Asian countryside. A cheerful message is on its way to you. Okay. I'll take it. Not as profound as I wanted it to be, but I'll take it. <laughs> All right. I needed a Chinese food video, so did that person apparently, and maybe some of y'all too. Till the next one. Y'all know what to do, eat good, live well, don't cry in the pool, or maybe do. It's therapeutic. <laughs> Stay true. Should have went with the left hand path. Be yourself and you'll always be in fashion. Now that's the one I was looking for. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.